All right, we're good to go. I could do that same thing and send the footage to you if you wanted. What? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Since it's PVE. Wait, whoa, Jesus. Player versus enemy. Basically, player versus AI. Player versus entity. That's what the AI. That is me. Okay. Well, um. This AI is really mean. I'm gonna go Mew since I just purchased the Mew license not too long ago. And I'm going with my Capitan Sin. And as tradition, oh, I need to renew my membership when I can. Ah. Come on, dude, make up your fucking mind. Man, the more that guy does that, the more the game lags. Yeah. He's doing that intentionally to make us lag. To make y'all lag. You see, I don't know what that is in my mind. Pay attention to the mini map and help any teammates that are in a pinch. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Wait, what? Oh, that's not an enemy. Oh, Tinker Tank here. Tinker Tink's on the outside, I guess. Yep. I like how I turn on do not disturb mode and all of a sudden my frame rate clears up. The heck? Oh, I know what the I know what these Tauruses are. They're the um new Taurus. They're the new um yeah, they're the new Paldean Tauruses. Mhm. Mm the ghost types, which I still don't get. Well, one of them's a ghost type, then there's a water type, and then also a fighting type. Why the fuck have I got a Mew attacking me? Um, uh, I'm gonna head on out of here, go to bed. I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow. Alright, right, see ya. Later. Love you. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Why the fuck did I have a Mew attacking me? Oh yeah, they, uh... They just spawn random Pokemon to attack you. Sayable Pokemon and everything. This Mew is fucking tough, that's for sure. Well, Mew is a mythical Pokemon, so of course. Kill the ones with presents, you get random stuff. Recovery bomb! Uh, do you often see any, um, robotic Pokemon appearing? Uh, not really. Though we do got a problem incoming. Hoopa Unbound. Oh, good lord. Oh, there's the fucking Hoopa. 
talking gypsy. I just killed a gypsy. Another mute, hello. Why don't I have my potion? Was is is this a event like can't you have the potion in this event? There's an actual tutorial for this event if you didn't go through it, by the way. Nah, I didn't bother oh, no, with I didn't. it. Oh, there's a gypsy again. Well, I guess I'm the only one that actually went through their freaking tutorial. Woohoo! Victory! <sighs> so easy for the first one, isn't it? So how do we do the crystal cave thing? Oh, here it is. You get a daily roll. Uh, and alongside that daily roll, you can also roll again with uh, Aos gems. Or just complete the entire map to instantly get some Aos gems. I mean, the points. This will be quite the match. We got randomly picked into a couple matches again with, with each other. Oh my god, there's another person. We've got a full team. Here we go. Going in telly on this time. See how the buffs went. Yes, I'm going Venusaur. Venusaur, Hoopa, Inteleon, Cinderace, and Absol. Nice. We all have Hollowware, except for you, Anthony. Man, I'm waiting until uh, they bring in some better uh, Hollowware for Inteleon. I ain't wasting. Uh, I don't even have an I'm not. I'm not wasting any points on the other Hollowware, the freaking orange and purple bullcrap. I don't even have it. Oh, the, the loading screen did show that. Uh, did show Inteleon with new Hollowware on. Yeah, it did. Though they have yet to release it. A as, uh, as for what I'm concerned. They're probably waiting for the release. <laughs> Frick, my Venusaur build is just meant to one-shot everything. Attack homing on you? Yep. Oh, yeah, most attacks do that. That fat green frog. It's attacks home in on me. Man, I recognize a lot of these Paldean Pokemon. That fat green frog's one of them. And there's all the little. I don't know where they are going with just putting a, just a random flamingo in there. Okay, I will go ahead and say Inteleon and Hoopa side by side, overpowered combo. 
Just gonna say that right now. Give me that. I need heals. I have spawned a recovery bomb. <laughs> if you can get to it in okay, time. Okay, so I, no. I just figured out why I need potion in here. It looks like you can summon random Pokemon at some point. Yep. So that's why I hit. That's why I put it. Ah, uh, Ranked is probably full of just Mewtwo's right now. Del Fox. Oh, this is Del Fox. It's gone. Here we go. Now things will start picking up. So who's the next annoyance we're going to have to deal with? Uh, Avalug. Yep, that's who we, uh, that's our next boss. They sure seem to, they sure like to fucking make these NPCs like players. They hurt. A lot. Yeah. Boom! Hello, you could be guys. max level and they still do half your health bar. Greedin. Mofo literally just runs around until he dies. Ah, crap. Look, uh, what, uh, just showed up on the field. Jesus! Dale Fox out of nowhere. I have snow bars. Oh, crap. Crap, where did it teleport to? Ah, there oh. it is, and there it goes. Yeah, it teleported right in front of everyone and then just got obliterated. Yeah, and then it just got taken out by my fire my pyro ball. Gravity smoke. Oh hello Avalog. Avalog is confused apparently.
Jesus. Now. That would be all about Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is where the chaos starts rolling in. Chaos! This isn't Skylanders. Hey, I got a recovery <laughs> bomb. Lord Chaos. Dropping it. Woo, team We got another buff. Hey, Venus. Don't, pi don't pick those things up. Those things uh, will... Oh, crap. No, it's the Talon Flames. The try hard birds are here. Speaking of, uh, oh, shit. Crap, I'm dead. I think I, I don't know if it did, but uh, I think I summoned a uh, Talon Flame for a small bit. Well, I just obliterated two try hard birds, so. Yeah. Hey, what's that food we have? Well, next we're gonna have to deal with uh, That's basically on. just a huge buff for Inteleon. It increases the damage that Inteleon does. Ah, oh, great. I wonder, so, uh, you guys are not all the way through, right? No. Zapdos. We've never... So I wonder if later on, I wonder if later on it might start sending out Paradox Forms. Huh. Oh, great. Stay away from each other, those things will dam uh, damage you. They explode. Screw you, Zapdos. Back for revenge, are you, Zapdos? All the times we murdered you. Oh, crap. Oh, no. oh crap. Tinkaton yeah. is losing health way too quickly. Nope, we may be done for. Yeah, we're done. For all the time we've been playing this, we've never got past this. It, the, the final... So you're up this one is chaotic, Ow. to say the least. Think it dead. Crap. Oh, it just how imagine no, how right. the off harder forms are. All right, I'm gonna actually go. Yeah. Let's see. I'll give this guy a go. I'm gonna go for Mew. <laughs> Are these two gonna pick or what? Okay, a Dragapult, Cinderace, Mew, <laughs> Buzzwool, and Mamoswine. Jesus Christ. Regigigas is a potential boss. Holy shit. Yep. I guess I'm uh, going this way then. Well, I just demolished that thing. Crap. 
Come here and try that again, you fat toad. Oh, yeah, crap. having a little bit of a problem here. A chaotic problem to say the least. Yep, we all are. Oh, Jesus! Hoopa uh, just straight up said, Nah, Mew, you're trash. <laughs> Yeah, I got evaporated by Hoopa. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Ah crap, we've got Greninjas. Got a recovery bomb, bring it over to Tinkatuff. I just held this Excel goal back. Man, you 
You're going nowhere, small. Where do the recovery bombs appear? In the presence. Yeah, the pre uh, presents are randomized stuff. Alright. Ah, crap. Downed oh, again. That's the way to die I, I just set up some sort of wall and this Delphox can't get past it. Jesus! Fuck you, you fucking little fucking ab, um, abra. Jesus. Yes, we're trying to protect Team Tough. Come here. Oh, and here comes fucking Avalog. What's his face? Big fucking Avalog. If you're big enough, you can just cover uh, Tinker Tuff's body with your own body, and nothing can hit her. Oh, Jesus! Summon the Garchomp. Oh. Ah, Jesus! actually kill each other just then? Oh, shit, I see what you mean about don't pick up them points. Yeah, they, like, debuff you severely. What the? Oh, two Talon Flames came out of nowhere, man. Oh, yeah, that happens to me all the time. Ow! Fuck off, Talon Flame! Well, I just spawned in a try hard. Dang. Dang. That was like the worst one that I've ever done. <laughs> Buzz walls are pretty good to use in there with the, um, fucking, uh, the fucking whatchamacallit move. Yeah, my swing's good too. Well, yeah, Memo Swine's even better now that they fucking buff the buff. <laughs> Another game we go. Okay, so when we beat 
Zapdos, I'm imagining it'll be Reg Gigas coming out after that. Um, probably. No. Or it may be the end of the intermediate. Well, I mean, like, yeah, it's gonna be the end of intermediate, but on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Because from, from what I'm seeing, they don't come out randomly when it comes to the bosses. It always comes out as a set. So, like, Cooper, then Avalog, then Zapdos, then I'm imagining Regigigas after that. Alright, I'm going in with Trevenant. Ah, so you've got Inteleon too. Um, well, no, I don't. Yeah, we all have. Oh, Inteleon. limited license. Uh, it's the license for the thing. Actually, I, I actually do have Hollowware for Inteleon. I didn't know I did. Wait, but you don't have a license, and you don't have a limited license. What do you have? Uh, Hacks? No, uh, it's, it's the license on the uh, event for it. Did you the purchase the license? license? Uh, it's the special license. Like, I also don't have the uh, flying... So... I don't know. Well, remember a while back, when bro, I I, when I said that... Because um, when I got... I so you should um, be able to play as Inteleon. Glitching the game out, sure. Remember... Yeah, remember back when I had just gotten... Like, back when I first got the... License for Delphox. I found that I somehow also had Hollowware for Delphox as well. Yeah, I remember that. And the Hollowware I did, yeah, Hollowware I didn't even have to buy. I somehow had it. Hmm. Yeah, same thing happened for me in Inteleon. Jesus. I guess I have an advantage against those fat toads using Delphox since Delphox is ranged. Huh. That then therefore kind of gives me an advantage against that other stronger attack that Avalok has. Because Delphox can hit Avalog you know, without being hit by Avalog's, Avalog's stronger attack. Because Delphox has the range over Avalog. Squish. Until it also has like a humongous freaking range. Here I go, I fucking kill a fat toad and I kill a fucking Taurus and then I get fucking killed by a combi. Oh yes, I just love how this works in that game. To be honest, Trevenant's kind of OP. Oh, yeah, you didn't know that before? I haven't played as Trevenant before, mind you. Sorry. What is that logic? Okay, so you haven't played as the character before, so you should know everything about it, right? Nah. Nah, I don't know everything about it. <laughs> Freaking Inteleon has a grapple move. Oh my god. Okay, I'm t kind of tied between what uh, Pokemon I want to get next time. Trevenant or Hoopa? <laughs> uh, Hoopa's pretty good. Don't think you're going anywhere, Dally Bird. Ooh, present. I think we've got an overpowered team going here. Oh fuck, hello, there's a fat Snorlax. Get out of here, Eldegoss. Uh, how do I Bye bye, Snorlax. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, 
um, I'm a snowball, apparently. Yeah, that's one of the present things. I mean, it says snowball. What do you think it's going to do? I didn't see Turn that. Turn you into rainbows? Oh, I a no rainbow trouble. snowball. That'll be interesting. That'll be the definition of a snow cone. Okay, a Trevor uh, is very resistant to Hoopa Unbound. Not, not even joking. Mm. Like, I've been hit by so many of the freaking rays at this point, and I am... I'm still alive. I've been hit by at least like 10 of them so far. Koopa can't do damage now. Ah, and he finally got me. Dang. That took a lot of effort for Hoopa Unbound to kill a Trevenant. Yo, Trevenant's pretty OP. Trevenant also has life still, by the way. Yep. Present. What is it this time? Oh, the wall. That's pain split, isn't it? Because if it is, that's what I have on. So do you get a present every time you kill uh, Delo Bird, or...? Yep. yep. And I got my Unite move. And I got Woodhammer Plus. Oh, I got my Unite move as well. Yeah, I'm invisible. Oh, I just one-shot the Wally Curly Bird thing. Bang. God. Sniper Shot does so much freaking damage. I'll have you in my sights. The Absol and not all the Abras are here. Ah. Just taking them down. What Come here. Thing that I just got? Fury, Fury Ether. Ooh, I got oh, Pain Split a... Plus. Squish. What does Fury Ether do? Everything I'm hitting with Inteleon is just a crit. They misspelled Ether. Why is everything I'm hitting with Inteleon just crits? Oh, that fucking Abra fucking teleported. Uh. Yeah, that's all I'm doing is crits. Oh, here comes Avalog. Here we go. Alright, big boy. Holy crap, we're already doing a crap ton of damage to it. I think I just like, did like 3k damage. What the? I'm doing 5k. Yeah, that's right, I have a lot. Delphok has the advantage over you. I'm doing 5k damage. 6k. I'm just a regular sh sniper shots to a P. I do usually like five to six K. Okay, Trevenant is definitely a go to for this mode. Trevenant can literally stand up to all uh, like all, almost all of the freaking attacks that the bosses have. Especially Hoopa Unbound. Mm -hmm. Tre yeah, Trevenant and Dolphox Fox are both go to's for this mode. Until is too, just because of the high damage. Because because yeah. Delphox is extremely powerful and has range over the boss. Get out of here, 
Hey, a try hard bird. I think I just killed him. Yeah, you failed. You failed, try hard bird. What is this? Oh, it's a fucking wall. Electro wall. Portable wall. Already? And you come Zapdos. Yep, we got Zapdos already. Holy crap, the amount of damage we just started doing to frickin' Zapdos. Oh crap. Get away, get away, get away. Get away from other individuals. Bring it over here. Hey, we might actually have a chance this time. Yeah. Although don't speak too soon. Well, I said we have a chance, not that we've got it in the bag. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, Zapdos is literally being torn to shreds at this point. We did it! Suck shit, Zapdos! I like Inteleon, mainly because I was doing like. I just Hey, Francine, just, uh, if you're still there, just select Del Fox right quick. Select a Del Fox right quick. That that's what we're gonna go for. There we go. This is our team. Inteleon, Del Fox, and Trevenant. Definitely. Oh, Sashian and Decidua are with us too. Uh now this is a team. Mm-hmm. What is I can't even remember how many times Decidua has saved us at, at times. You know, you don't really see anyone playing Decidueye much. Though, Decidueye has picked yeah, up in usage since uh, Panic Parade came about. It's actually surprising why people don't use Decidueye much. Because Decidueye is really strong, and it's uh, uh, attacks, uh, it's, uh, uh, like, sort of stun the enemies and also weaken them a little bit. So I'm surprised people don't use Enjoy much. Yeah. Guess we're going the same way, huh, Francine? Well, yeah, we're a pretty overpowered combo. Yeah, I'm leaving the Sashian behind. Maybe not so much in the very beginning, but... To be honest, Trevenant is boss on this mode at the beginning. Problem. So curse is a healing type of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it can heal. Ow. Ah, crap. Just the appearance of Vesper. Just the appearance of Vesper Quinn just fucking killed me. Oh, no. It killed both of us. Oh. Yeah. I'm dead. Dang. You don't say. Oh, 
are they so strong? Uh, the healers. Yes, apparently they're also one-shotters too, because they like to fucking one-shot me. Finally, fire spin, sweet. Liquidation or sniper shot? Yeah, take that. Summon the guard chomp. That's <laughs> <laughs> Quinn got stuck in there. And here comes fucking Cooper. All right, we're bringing in our unholy trio once again. Let's go. Yep. Actually, if in the actual show, it, it uh, what if a Trevenant, a Delphox, and an Inteleon actually uh, uh, grouped up with each other? Uh, he's got a Dragapult. Because, I mean, uh, in, in the show, in, like, the anime, uh, Cynthia's Garchomp, Cynthia, Cynthia is the, you know, champion, the champion, I know, Garchomp, well known for being a monster. But huh. in the actual show... Her guard shop was getting obliterated by small time legendaries. Huh. So, yeah, um, if our trio was to go against any of these legendaries in the, the actual show, they would still get annihilated. Uh. Legendaries are just that powerful in reality. To be honest, though, you can't deny Del Fox, Trevenant, and uh, Inteleon together wouldn't be pretty dang overpowered. Jesus, the homing. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to wood hammer for uh, the build this time. Oh shit, and here comes these things. Fucking pink cups. No problem. Trevenant just comes in just like, nah, let me show you how powerful they truly are. Oh, that was pretty close, though. Though, now that I think yeah, about it, do you... Th do you th yep, there it is. Ow. To, to be honest, though, in the show, do you think uh, there ever would be a chance of something like that happening? A Trevenant, uh, Del Fox, and Inteleon actually teaming up? <laughs> Got their own team going? Probably not. Well, I mean, let's just think in general, not the new crap. The new, the new stuff is just crap. 
I mean, any, if anything, let's talk old. A Trevenant, an Inteleon, and a Del Fox. Why do you think that team would not work out in the show? Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't say it would yeah, just, I suppose, I mean, it's it, like, it's like yeah, it'd be definitely a really strong team. It'd be definitely. Although the Inteleon might be the tricky part. Why is that? No, just. Well, I mean, that doesn't mean that there's only one of each in existence. Well, I know that. I just Look, stop dragging it on and answer the dang question. <laughs> because I honestly think you're just dragging it on at this point, just so you don't have to actually explain it. Trust me, it's not going to kill you. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm still waiting for an answer. I mean, why we still have recording time? Um, I mean, is there... Do you I think there's know. anything about the characters that would make it to where they probably wouldn't work together? Hmm. And don't tell me that they're just from different generations. That, that ain't no explanation. That's just, I'm going to give you the crappy explanation that way I don't actually have to properly explain it. That's, that, that's the garbage way to go out. No. It really... I guess it really depends on their personality, too. Because Pokemon do have personalities in that. Well, let's go with the most common personalities for each. I like how I say the most common, and you're just like, all of them. Hmm. Look, I know you weren't born in uh, Stupidville. You, you, uh, n you seem to know e almost everything about Pokemon, and how can you not explain uh, how a single team-up wouldn't work? Well, okay, what, I, I'll try to dumb it down. Okay, if we're going through, like, one of each of the characters, let's say, let's start with Trevenant, for example. We know, uh, both of us know a little bit about Trevenant. So, what's the average person, I like how you're just like, Ugh. Again, I know you weren't born in Stupidville. You know about Trevenant, and yet all of a sudden you're just like, Uh, I don't know. You know, you just don't want to say. You mean that? I mean, di didn't, didn't you explain that a Trevenant is basically the soul of a child possessing a tree? So let's think about it. What most likely do you think this child would be feeling? I mean, my honest opinion, I don't think it would be joy, but that also depends on the age. Well, it's definitely. Yeah, probably. That is. Plus, uh, oh shit. Ow. Plus, if the child uh, was. Um, like, if the child. Like, most children, they're probably. 
Well, a lot of children would get along with Pokemon. Uh, maybe Trevenant. Trevenant could possibly, potentially be good. Trevenant would, like, definitely probably team up with them easily without any issue. All right. Maybe in most circumstances. So that's what we're thinking for Trevenant. Now, what if we move on to Delphox? What then? Now, that's going to be a lot more tricky to explain Delphox because um, Delphox is the same as Lucario. All sorts of random shit go on in their mind and it's very difficult to predict them or be able to tell. But, <clears throat> Delphox is psychic type though, so... That, was, that means that Delphox is psychic. And there is a lot of Delphoxes. Delphox is the type of Pokemon that um, will show very strong care and love and affection to their trainers or anyone who raises them right and treats them. So let's so, say... Uh... So let's say... Uh, let's get more specific. Let's say the trio never... Uh, had any trainers. They just happened to be wild Pokemon who uh, encountered each other and actually, uh, well, teamed up, basically. Yeah. Although, um, well, I, I don't think it applies, but I think I can, so that one's not really tough. Um, I don't remember how Trevenant, like, I don't remember how Trevenant evolved. Like, I don't remember how, like, I don't remember, like, level up because, um, there are some evolutions that require the Pokemon to have had a trainer in order to actually evolve. Okay. So we're talking. Remember- so I we're. Rem- so we're talking abandoned Pokemon then. Which means that's really that require, that's uh, that probably means that they're not gonna ha- uh, be too friendly towards people. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, now it doesn't require for Intellion or Delphox to have had a trainer to be possible. They could be wild. Um, the Trevenant, I'm not sure about because I don't remember how it evolved. Into. Well, I mean, so, again, isn't Trevenant just? Uh, the soul of a child possessing a tree. Ta-da, Trevenant. Yeah, so it could... Yeah. Um, yeah, I do see... I do see how a friendship between Trevenant and Delphox could possibly um, be there. Okay. So that, uh, that's very... Okay, but you didn't mention Inteleon, so why do you... Why do you think Inteleon wouldn't be the best fit? Uh, Inteleon is kind of like the, um... Inteleon's kind of like the, uh... uh what's the... Uh, One second. Maybe Lone... So your average Inteleon would prefer to be uh, by itself? In some cases, yes. Now, Inteleon can work with the trainer. Because um, the trainer, like, Inteleon's trainer tends to... It's sometimes known that Inteleon's trainer only likes to work well with the trainer sometimes. Uh. But again, this depends on the Inteleon personality as well. Um... But, um, there's also a lot of cases where Inteleon could possibly work as well, considering Inteleon's first form, Sobble, is very shy and that. But then again, that also reflects on the fact that Inteleon can, at times, tend to be a lone wolf as well, because of how shy and timid it was as a Sobble. Okay, well, let's say let's go back to that time, and it meets this Trevenant and Delphox. So, what we what would we kind of expect, especially if uh, 
it decides to actually uh, group up with them. Of course, not at first. You're not going to look at someone uh, someone you don't know and be like, Hey, I want to be that person's teammate. And, uh... Yeah. And it's probably not going to want to be around them at all if if they are fully evolved as well. So, like, if they are already Trevor and Del Fox. I mean, to be, on, to be, uh, to be honest with you, Trevenant and Del Fox do look like they're prepared to burn down a forest. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, that's another part. Like, if the Del Fox happens to be not so friendly, then um, Trevenant and Del Fox might not even work together. Because Trevenant protects the forest. Well, yeah, so I'm just saying one... that uh, basically what I'm... Uh, saying there is that uh, to uh, uh, to another Pokemon that's shy or timid, other Pokemon like Del Fox or Trevenant would look like a threat. Yeah, definitely. Although, probably Trevenant even more because what Trevenant looks like to start with. Because, um, yeah, the Sobble will probably look at the Trevenant and be like, yeah, that's definitely someone I don't want to mess with. And plus, Trevenant's in part grass type, whereas the Zobor's a water type. Water types are weak to grass. Hmm. Well, I mean, to be honest, the trio would come full circle. Yeah. That's why it's okay. difficult to explain these three because, well, yes, they all have potential to want to work together and be good teams. And there's also some other traits about them that uh, could cause them to fight each other. Yeah. Give me a second. I'll be right back. And we may stop the all video right. here unless we have some extra space.